Today's show and tale is fuel pumps and uh, side cover. This side cover here is a early model, very early, uh, maybe a 1918 or 1919. This cover here is a late model towards the last of the production. And the difference is, is in this area right here, if we can compare this, this hole here is this one, this hole right here is this one, this hole is this one. On this old one here, you can see that they, they are no machined surfaces. Those are as cast, those three bosses. And on this late model, all three bosses, what, what they, this one even back here was casted taller as compared to this one. And then these are machined in a plane, all machined surfaces. This one is the one where the dial pin goes, this one in the middle. On this model right, well, let's set this aside and work up to it. I don't know, let's start with the early one. Give us a little beach room. This very early one right here used a fuel pump this type. This is the very, very early fuel pump. Cast iron. Uh, external check valve. It has two balls in it, and that's all a that's all a fuel pump is. It's got two balls in there. It's a check valve. Once you have disassembled one, you will uh, you'll understand how it works. Uh, fuel comes in the bottom. Fuel comes in the plunger. Comes upward. When it comes upward, it sucks that full of fuel, the little ball in the bottom there, it sucks up. The ball in here is checked going backwards, so it can only go one way. It fills up this chamber right here, okay, on the downstroke, it wants to push that amount of fuel out, displace it. Okay, this ball down here checked it from going backwards to the tank, and this one here is free floating, so it can push up to the mixer through this one. That's how it works. Quite simple, a fuel pump. Most most simplest part on the engine. It should be in good condition. The packing, and we will get to that packing, and I'm going I'm going I'm going to list this over there in that it's a companion to the bailing war engine series. Even though it's over here in the IAC, it's kind of generic in its uh, in what we're doing. But you can see that this this arm and this is the eared type pump, and you can see that that ear right there has a very large arc in it. Okay, it is worn totally out. Th this would not be a uh, um, whatever that's called, I'll have to look that up. But this is not a part to be used. The um, if I might get one this type here for an example, you see how straight that is. This this what I'm what I'm referring to is this right here, that area. And see how straight that is? It comes up, and then it's kind of straight. Okay, this one has very little wire. This is a very good one right here. That's a good one. But this one is worn out. Okay, it's already been repaired. It's been brazed up here. Uh, you will find this quite often because the plunger seizes up and it breaks. Uh, but this one will have to be welded up to cast iron and just use whatever procedure to weld cast iron that you are comfortable with it. But that needs to be set back straight right there. What happens when they were like that, and this thing, this thing goes up and down. Okay, you can see readily there that that don't fit in that groove. So with that amount of 
arc in that when it when it comes when your when your eccentric pushes the top of this forward it pushes that down and that's what makes it work so when that comes down it wants to pull this plunger backwards so it, it it puts it in a bind and for this to work properly that plunger should go straight up and down and in order for that to go straight up and down this has to be straight so that it can it can ride on that and with that said this is an early model it would go on this top this type housing in the front most position the dial pin goes here and this bolt here goes through the front into the block like this uh, this would go all the way through here up in there like that that's the early model uh, simple in its operation uh, just uh, there is a reason you would use this pump the later model pump that is the equivalent to this that will work on this housing is this pump here and as you can see it mounts the dowel pin would go here and the uh, rocker would go here this is the pop metal version all these here you will find them in really bad conditions a few examples of bad condition is there's one probably frozen busted and there's one the bottom broke off of it there's one just and they just fall apart you can see how that that pot metal uh, I think well it's worth storage and most likely that was kind of heat I would think but it's just no good and this one right here that that's had a repair on it at some time and it's 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 a good repair there that would have been that would have not been the problem had it not broke over here you, you can't salvage them with a repair looks like at some point in time they've they put that strap on there probably later than they tried to weld it there which did not it was not successful evidently it broke again right beside of the weld and that's usually the case on this pot metal and because you can discern that because they ground the notch in that weld and put the strap on there for further use and then it broke here so it's it's scrap metal as is this one fuel pumps uh oh they uh and 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 where these fuel pumps are located there's one right there the bottom of it's broke off you can see the check ball right in the bottom of it there the plunger stuck but i will salvage the plunger and the out of that one this one here is broke off of another one some salvageable parts the uh the and you will the the, the amount of wire that these engines will tolerate and still run is unbelievable comparing this is a uh, uh, that one has some wire right here where the packing is it's it's to the point where you can fill it uh, this would not be a reusable plunger uh, it, it just would not have any longevity to it before it would start leaking if not immediately but as you can see it's it's a straight this one right here uh, that's pretty good I can not feel a little wire I wouldn't use it but this one you probably could get by with this one for a while but this is supposed to be perfectly straight and you can see how much this one's wore even to a taper down there on the end I don't know how that got wore that bad in that such a long amount but uh, and you this brass eared part that's quite common There's, that's that's not a rare part by no means quite common you'll find those a lot this one equal amount of wire on that one and this part right here is pop metal uh, low grade aluminum problem no it's pop metal and uh, these will be broken quite often it's taper on the bottom for your packing to fit in and then the spring fitted in the top I will make we're going to make some of these on the lathe over there and we'll do a uh, how-to on that there's uh, two different kinds of those but let's get on past this early model here get them over there get this early model get that early model out of the way uh, keeping in mind that 
the they're on that housing you can use two different fuel pumps okay on this late model housing the reason that all three of those are machined is this one goes right back there like that and then your dowel pin would protrude out of this housing and, and it would go there and, and that puts the fuel pump in the rearmost position with this lever here the eccentric on the cam uh, eccentric for the uh, fuel pump operation and it up, works this lever up and down and like that now on this housing you actually can use both of the other fuel pumps the the two other ones will mount here so the late mall housing you can actually use both of those now if you go back to the early model housing and you use the late model fuel pump on it on the on the old style housing what happens is you end up with a mismatch in the back now uh, I have I have encountered several of those where they just stack some washers in there and and most of the time this housing here is crooked so your fuel pump actually ends up in a little bit of a crook I mean it'll work it's not correct but it will work you actually uh, can use the new style on this by spacing it out there with a spacer or washer it's not good practice to do it but you can the correct one is to use this one on the Lake Mall style now the other type for this right here uh, so far we got three type fuel pumps out here most uh, most operators will say that's to the extent of it but it's not 